everyone, it's Juliet, and today I'm going to be introducing to you a brand new series that I'm going to be starting right here on this channel that I'm going to be calling The Beginner's Corner. So first of all, I wanted to make an introduction video to this series so that I could both explain to you what the series is actually going to be about and also to tell you a bit about why I'm starting this series. So to answer the question, what is it going to be about? Essentially, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be picking some pieces that are beginner level um, and I'm going to be teaching them to you. Now, when I say teaching, I don't mean that I'm going to be holding the camera above the keys and play it in slow motion so that you can see how to play the notes because there are plenty of people already who are doing that kind of thing on YouTube. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to be teaching you how to really bring the piece to life by getting right down to the heart of it and showing you how to make music out of the piece basically. For those of you who are familiar with the grade system in the UK, or where you take grades with either ABRSM or Trinity, I don't think there are any other boards, but if there are, correct me. <laughs> the pieces that I'm going to be choosing are going to be aimed at around the grade 1 to 3 level, that's what I'm going to aim for. So that should give you a rough idea of the kind of level of the pieces that I'm going to be teaching you. If you're not familiar with that grading system, then I don't really know how else to explain it. You'll be able to tell. I mean, you'll be able to tell if the pieces are kind of suited to your level or not, hopefully. With each piece that I make a video on, I'm going to teach you some tips and some ways to bring out the musical side of the piece. And these tips, although they might seem basic, are actually some really fundamental parts to playing any piece of music and making it sound like music, if you know what I mean. Like, these are tips that I use, these are tips that professionally... Yeah. <laughs> professionals... I can't say that word. These are tips that professional... There we go. Professional pianists use. In other words, just because they may sound simple doesn't mean that they're not important. And because of that reason, even if you're not at the standard of the pieces that I'm going to be teaching, it doesn't mean that the information that I'll teach you won't be helpful to you. You know, you may be more of a grade 6 standard person, but I will hopefully say some things that you can apply more generally to any of your pieces. So, I'm hoping that will be helpful. So, in terms of why am I doing this, the point that I want to stress is that Playing the piano is not about how fast your fingers can move or how many notes you can play in one minute, <laughs> you know what I mean? Playing the piano is about making music and engaging with people, whether that's one person or a whole hall full of people, you know? It's about making music and making the piece come to life and actually sound nice. You know, you don't pay a hundred pounds to go to a concert just to see someone's fingers go like that up and down the keyboard you go to a concert and you pay money to go to the concert because you want to be treated to nice music you don't need to be playing the kind of pieces that Lang Lang plays to be able to make real music you can take the most simple piece ever composed and you can turn it into something absolutely gorgeous you know if you know where to look and what to do with it and that's what I want to help you with the thing is that when you're a beginner and I know I certainly felt this is that you want to be able to play more difficult things and you want to be able to learn more and you want to progress and that's fine but you shouldn't let that get you down you shouldn't you shouldn't feel like because you can only play simpler stuff, you can't make music, <laughs> if you know what I mean. 
I cannot stress how important it is to understand that you can take the easiest piece in the world and you can literally sit there and practice it for hours just to make it sound like real music. Like, don't underestimate a piece just because of its level of difficulty. You know, I, I would prefer to pay money to go and listen to someone playing... I can't think of anything right now. Let me think. Two hours later. I would honestly prefer to pay money to go and listen to someone playing Twinkle Twinkle Star absolutely magically so that it really draws me in rather than someone playing La Campanella when they can't really play it, they can just they can like they can do the notes, they can play the notes like a robot, but if it doesn't make me feel anything then well, what's the point? So in short, what I want to show you is that as with pretty much anything really, you can take the simplest thing and find a great deal of beauty in it as long as you know where to look and how to explore it and that's what I'm here for. The other thing I want to say is that if you are in the UK and you're doing grades, I'm not going to be picking pieces that are on the grade list. Um, and I'll tell you why, because I think that, you know, when people spend a year plus just learning those three pieces that you have to do for those grade exams, you know, it drives, it drives you absolutely insane. And I honestly don't see the point in doing that because it takes away the fun and it takes away the magic. You know, and you just get sick and tired and bored of playing the same three pieces for more than a year. And the problem is that so many people fall into that trap. And really what you want to do is you want to obviously perfect those three grade pieces that you have to do so that you can get the grade. But in order to really enhance your playing and to really advance in your musical journey, you need to be playing other pieces as well as just those three pieces on repeat for a year plus. <laughs> so that is why I won't be choosing grade pieces because I want to introduce you into loads more pieces. You know, there are thousands and thousands and thousands <laughs> of pieces in the piano repertoire and a lot of them are really easy and a lot of those easy pieces are absolute gems and I think it's a crime to lock yourself away going insane playing just three pieces when you can unlock all these hidden beauties, you know? Hello Elsa! Hello! Meow! You gonna come say- oh no, she's licking so so yeah, that's basically what this series is going to be about. Um, I'm also going to be taking requests, so if you have a piece that you would like me to make a video on, then yeah, just reply in the comments or tell me on social media or something and I'll definitely take it into consideration um, and see if I think that I can find plenty of things to say about it. That would be great. Elsa, please go out the cat butt. Right, so I really, really hope you're going to enjoy this series. I think, I'm hoping that a lot of people will find this useful. And yeah, I think that's about all I have to say, really. Yeah. Make sure to subscribe and turn my notifications on so that you don't miss any of these little gold mine videos, because that would be sad. Yeah. So yeah, have a lovely day everybody and goodbye.